Hello, I'm Brian Lesser, President of Xenix Software. In this short video, I'm going to provide an overview of the test execution and reporting features of Essential Test. Essential Test has built in support for test execution and reporting. A test set is a structure for pulling together your manual and automated test plans and suites for execution. A test set may be created for a build, a sprint, a test cycle, or a project, depending on how your organization tests and delivers software. A test set is associated with a database that stores your test results so that reports can be generated either from within a central test or from a web portal that is accessible to everyone in your organization through a browser. Test sets can be small, like the example that we're about to review, or large, containing thousands of tests. Let's look at the test set overview. You can see that this test set contains 26 tests. 19 of them are automated, 7 are manual. So far, 8 tests have been executed, and of those, 5 have passed and 3 have failed. One test is blocked, and there are 17 others that have yet to be run. This overview updates in real time, so if tests are running, it's constantly being updated. By looking at the test column, you can easily see which tests are automated versus manual. The automated tests are labeled with a green T. The manual tests are labeled with a blue T. The status column displays an icon that represents the status of the test. A red X indicates a failure. A green check represents a pass. A gray dash indicates that the test has not yet been run. You can see that this test has been blocked because the test data is not yet available. The reason codes are completely user-defined. The results tab records and stores results each time a test is executed. You can look back on the history to see how the results of a test might be the same or different from previous runs. The Output tab displays the trace of the most recent run by default, but you can easily select any other run and review the detailed output. The Failure Reason allows the user to attribute a reason code to a failure. In my test set, I can select from Coding Error, Requirement Incorrect, or Test Error, but those reasons are completely user-defined, so you may have other reason codes that you would like to use. Essential Tests includes a report for root cause analysis based on the reasons for test failures. The Notes tab provides a space to make notes about the selected test. The Defect tab provides integration with defect tracking. In this example, I'll demonstrate integration with JIRA but the feature set is the same for other supported defect tracking systems. If I click on the defect identifier, I can review the details of the defect in my JIRA system. I can also associate a failure with an existing defect or generate a defect report for a new failure. We'll visit the integration with defect tracking again in a few minutes. The Runs tab provides a global view of the test set runs. Perhaps the environment was not configured properly and a run failed. I can simply right-click on the run and select Delete. All the results from that run will be removed from the test set. The Notes tab provides a place to annotate the test set. Perhaps there's a need to explain failures to an auditor. The Attachment tab provides a place to attach documents of any kind. You may have PDF files that contain project plans. PNG files that display errors, Excel spreadsheets with test data, or anything else that you'd like to be part of your project archive. The Defects tab provides a handy way to locate tests that should be rerun when a defect is resolved. Notice that I have two tests that are labeled as Ready to Confirm. This indicates that a developer has resolved a defect, and Essential Tests found two tests in my test set that are associated with that defect. This panel locates those tests for me automatically so I don't have to try and determine which tests need to be rerun. I simply mark those tests using the marking bar 
And then when I switch back to the test tab, the tests are marked and ready to be run. There are two other useful queries that help manage the relationship between failures and defects. The first locates the tests in the test set that have passed but are still associated with the defect, prompting the user to close the defect. The second locates tests that have failed but are not associated with a defect. Perhaps the test should be associated with an existing defect or maybe a new defect should be submitted. Let's turn our attention now to executing tests from a test set. Those same attributes that are available in plans and suites can be used in test sets to locate tests. I can execute a query to find tests based on those attributes. I'll use an existing query to locate my regression tests. When I select Run to run the tests in a test set, I can filter out categories of tests that I'm not interested in running right now. I also want to point out a few other options for running tests. The Run Advanced dialog offers different ways to schedule tests. I can choose to run tests on my local computer, a remote computer, or upon multiple machines in order to reduce the execution time. I can even control the order that tests are run and how they are grouped across multiple machines. I can choose to run tests now, delay the execution for no, some number of hours, minutes, and seconds, or specify a time when I'd like to run the test. Once you've run your test, you are no doubt going to want to share the results with others in your organization. You can either generate reports from within a central test or use the web-based portal. To generate a report from within a central test, I'll access the results menu and select Generate Report. I can choose from several different reports that provide different formats and levels of detail. I'll select the Overview Report. It's a pie chart that depicts current status of the test set percentage passed, failed, blocked, not run, and running. Essential test reports can be exported into many popular formats including PDF, HTML, Excel, RTF, Text, and TIFF. There may be members of your organization who need to access test results that do not have Essential Test on their desktop. The Xenix portal provides them with the same level of information as Essential Test users. The test set summary provides them with the overview and the same set of reports that are generated in PDF format in their browser. I hope that you found this short video on Essential Tests test execution and reporting features informative. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.xenix.com.